this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm putting together a graduation cap. So if you remember, I had done this back in June. Um, but today, here's my, the inspiration, right? So we wanna do something exactly like this, but for a bigger cap. Sorry, I'm like tilted right now. <laughs> Were you, did you guys have your head like this? <laughs> so anyway, um, I, since I do a lot of butterfly designs, I just kind of add on to see what I'd like, but this is the original one because you want you want to be able to read everything. It's a beautiful color palette of like pinks, golds, a little bit of purple here and there, and a lot of mixing. So if you see the butterflies here, oops, oh, sorry, just dropped something. <laughs> um, you can see we mix colors and textures. So this is plain white cardstock in the background with the gold on top and then I mean it's just so pretty um I have pictures from like in the natural light outside and it's just really really gorgeous and then we also did the gold with white glitter cardstock on top so same thing with the butterflies it's just a bunch of mix of colors um variations and textures so it's all the same color palette, but three different types of butterflies in all different sizes. And so I kind of just, when I cut it out, I laid it out by butterfly type so then I can easily put together all the pieces. So what you want to do with the trick to this, um, I'm going to move this for a second and hopefully it doesn't fall. Um, the trick to this project is really all the layers and... <sighs> I'm getting there. What, what is really cool though, is that when I flip it over, cause when you're wearing it, um, it's sitting on the back of your head like this. So it's kind of standing propped up. Um, you can see all the different layers. And so I'm gonna put it this way so you can see the layers. It's sit, the butterflies are sitting on top of the cap with the wings, the different layers with the wings kind of propped open. And we prop it open by putting um, letting the glue gun dry so that the drops, they harden and they stick right there. And then we layer butterflies on top of butterflies. So there's just like, I mean, it's just so, so pretty. And you see all the, all the, um, the wings are propped open and then the name glitters and then, um, it's just a gorgeous cap. All right. So let's get started. Um, the cap this time is nine inches. So here's the cap, right? Um, I did do different size dots for her because I don't have the cap. I'm actually mailing this out and then she's going to layer it. But the beauty of having cardstock is that if your school doesn't allow to have your cap decorated, you can easily take this on and off. Everything is going to be on this and this can, um, can be taken off easily. Um, what I would do is I would probably put some, um, I'm going to give her some glue dots so that she can put it down to make sure it stays, but it should stay because the little hole, when you prop it in, it's not going to come off easily. So it really does stay on. Like I said, that's the beauty of a, um, cardstock cap is that you can take it on and off. So anyway, let's get started. Um, for all the letters. I'm gonna do it just flat. So the outline's gonna be flat on here because it's so thin and delicate. Most of the time I like to layer on top of layers, but in this case, this is gonna be flat, but I will make sure that the backing of this has the layers. So when we're using this, um, I like to use my double-sided tape. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm like looking all around for all this stuff. It's the Tombow tape and of course it is not here. So give me a second. <laughs> here we go. And then I just wanna grab some scrap, scrap paper. So we have a lot of it here from other old projects. All right, so for this, I would just turn it around. What's really important about this is it is this gold metallic, which is gorgeous, but it it really shows your tape. So you got to make sure that you um, get like a clean 
laying down and then that we clean it up before we put it down. Okay, so make sure you have all your tools because you want to pick it up. And you don't want to pick it up so quickly because it is so delicate and it has the glue taping. <laughs> there you go. So when you flip it over, we got to clean up all the little, all the webbing. And it's sticky. I mean, it's a great tool. I mean, it's a really good tape. So you, it's super sticky. You just want to get all the webbing out. And it's a lot easier to do it before you plop it down. So that's why. And then you got to make sure you clean the tip of this after each word. All right, I think I have everything. And I had already glued down the dot. The nice thing with these outlines is that it's so easy to place down and you know where to put it. So, and it's just so, I mean, look at how beautiful that is. Love this thing. Okay, so all the lettering is done. What you wanna do though, is you have the glue gun going. I'm gonna flip it over and I wanna add, um, let me make sure it's hot, okay, yeah. I wanna add little dots. And this is going to, I'm gonna let it dry. So it's gonna, it's gonna create that space that we want off the cap. So instead of using foam tape, and in this case I'm not using foam tape because I feel like it's, um, it's more noticeable and visible like when you see it from the side. So I prefer this more clear, invisible look. Okay, okay I'm gonna let that dry. And then let's work on some butterflies. We're not gonna be able to get everything done. So with the butterflies, I do wanna show you, cause it's a lot, there's 17 butterflies to fold, <laughs> but, um, once you build them, so for instance, I have a couple butterflies that are done. Once you build them, you're just going to stack it. I stack mine before I put it down. I mean, before I glue it down. So as I'm stacking them with your glue gun, what you can do is you can then, once you like your placement, you can go under and kind of just do it instead of putting one down at a time, because that allows you to, you know, fix your mistakes. So like, you know, do you want it turned this way? I think on the original cap, they're all facing up obviously, but at different angles. So you have this one facing this way. The cap's gonna be like this, cause it's gonna be the front. So you're gonna have your words going across like this. I'm gonna bring it back. So you can see they're all kind of facing, the butterflies are facing up. And you can always add more. And then you have the little circle cutouts from here. I also made a few different sizes because it depends on the look that you want. I have the exact measurement, but I made them bigger just in case that color was shining through too much. So then you can have a bigger, a bigger hole, which she can definitely cover. And then I'm also gonna send a few extra butterflies. But you don't want the butterflies to go um, into the words, so you kind of have like a single row of butterflies here and here and then just a little offset otherwise it's going to be too much but you know that's personal preference as well but this has about um 13 butterflies wait one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten i think i was counting 13 because i had added these extra ones on here and i thought they still look good but you want the different sizes you want to make sure that when you're layering this that no two butterflies are right next to each other because you have such a variation of the few colors. So it's really, really nice. All right, so let's get started. What you wanna have is a ruler to help you fold. So I'm gonna pull out my ruler and these three go together. So I'm gonna line them up. And then, you know, the great thing about this project is it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, 
you really just want the layers the wings are propped open at different um, different degrees so it's going to look good no matter what and it doesn't need to be precise so what I do with the ruler is I stick it right down the middle and I kind of just hold it like this and then oh, hold on I'm gonna lift it up so that I can actually grab it I have no fingernails all right so stick it down the middle and then just fold up and then once you have it you can fold it a little bit more but now you can see with the different types of textures that we have going on they fold at different angles and then you we're going to add the first glue dot here so i'm going to do it on this layer and i'm going to glue it just right in here creating a lot of space and I'm just gonna hold it and let it dry for a few seconds see I have it propped open so it's gonna dry like this it's not gonna close because that glue is gonna dry open like that and then you can do you know on this butterfly we can do more on some other butterflies we could do less and this one I'm gonna put just a little bit right there and then you can put that one down work on the next one and then you got to come back and do the other side so you can do all of the so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do all of my right side first put it aside let it dry and then I'm going to come back and do the left side on all of them so here is this butterfly I'm just going to keep it here fold it up and kind of just get a good bend and then I'm going to open this up And kind of leave it open and this one the top layer can be pushed down a little bit more if you get we're building so much space with the fact that we're gonna have I cut 17 butterflies it's going to give it a beautiful just overall look so it doesn't matter that some are propped open more than others which is oh I didn't do the top layer yet And this top layer I want just enough for it to stick and then you see even with the delicate cutouts you can bend some parts of it and not others and it's just gonna give like a really good look okay all right next one And on some butterflies I did four layers so this is three layers but some a few have four so we just really varied it up and so it just looks cohesive but um, but different And if you're wondering about my glue gun, it's by Shore Bonder. So I had this one for a long time. I love the color. It's by Lynn Lilly, which is also done by Shore Bonder. So it's literally the same glue gun, except just not in a cute color. This one, I left it on for so long, I forgot. So the tip literally burnt off. So now I'm not using that anymore. So I don't, let me see if I can show you the tip. See the tip just like fell off. <laughs> So now I'm using my darker color one, which is not as pretty. Okay, so you get the idea of the butterflies. Like I said, there's three different types in different sizes and with the multi multi um, multiple variations of the colors. All right, so let's look at the words. So these are now dry, the glue dots. So when you put it down, they're going to pop up a little bit from the, from the back. So that's gonna just give it another 
layer and feel to it. And so, okay, oops, whoa. You want to clean any of the glue um, webbing, I guess, off. All right, so, and so the, and I need to glue down Adventure, so I haven't done that yet, but you can see it here. So Adventure goes here and begins, is going to drop down a little bit like that. And then all our butterflies is going to line up here and here and then build up. So that's how you're going to do that. Um, and that's really all that there is to this one, and it's going to look beautiful. So I'm going to bring this back so that you can see it. It's literally the same thing, just a little bit bigger. So it, this one is, I think, like another inch out. So I added um, four, I forgot my count already. I think I added six more butterflies. But you can see this is the original here, which I plan on keeping forever. <laughs> um, all right. Let me know what you think. Comments if you wanted it to go longer so I know next time. But I feel like I gave you the full background and then all that's left is just gluing it into place and then shipping it out. So, all right, let me know what you think. And then if you have a special request, let me know about that too. You can either um, post the comments here and then email me like files or details to Anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, I'm gonna do a few more before I end it. But that's sort of like the end of my, you can drop off at any point. Of course, you could do that at any time. But this is officially over. Now I'm just going into overtime. So I'm just going to be layering a few more. I'm actually going to do this one. And then I'm going to go and do the other side of the butterflies we just did. I just love these colors. This metallic um, paper from Cricut is just gorgeous in all colors. I love the silver as well. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. Now this side is dry, so look it. You see how it does it? It goes back to its shape. So now we're gonna do this side. So this one's going to be done so you can kind of see what it looks like straight on. And then down here, once we put it down here, you're going to have another butterfly sitting on top. So you want to make sure that those glue dots obviously are in place so that even, I mean they're light, but once you put it on that it's not going to crumble because there's that glue spacer in the middle really holding up the support. All right. And you can see this is um, four layers here. So when you're doing the layering here, what you want to do is you want to do, um, I did do glitter on glitter on glitter, but you can see it went from like super light to a really bold color to super bold color so that you can see all three and then gold. But normally what I like to do is I don't like having the glitter back to back. So this is glitter, metallic glitter, and then mm, pretty much they're all the same. Glitter, metallic glitter. This is glitter on glitter on cardstock. So just to make it different. And this one's ready to be done on this side. And then you can see the different layers and then see this one's pretty strong with my finger coming down squeezing it but 
there's a big glue bubble right there, so it's perfect. So this side is good, let's do this side. So all of these have both sides. This is an old one. Okay, so I'm gonna move my old butterflies out of the way. And see, look at this. This is glued on. This is, I took it from another project, but this is solid. These wings are propped open and they're really stable. So you can add another butterfly on top and it's not gonna flatten. So, all right, let's grab a few more so you can see. Here's this shape. This one does not have any antennas. So this one is pink glitter, purple glitter, white cardstock, and then a solid gold. So pretty, okay. I know I love, this is one of just my favorite projects because it's so beautiful. And anyone that, everyone that has seen it in person is always, um, is always in awe because of the colors and the shininess, especially in the sun. So, okay. So let's do this one. Don't mind the interruption. <laughs> All right, so this side is done. So you can see. All right, that's it. So hopefully I will see you guys next time and I hope that this helps you. We have six months before the next graduation rush. So, all right, talk to you guys later.